Here's a Beyond the Pitch podcast quick hit from the WVSA Digital Network. Well, a lot of with coaching education right now, it's really geared towards the interactions and relationships you have with the players, how you prepare them, how you help them deal with those emotions, with those feelings that happen, because it is a frustrating situation for players to be in. There could be some anger. There could be some disappointment. There could be some sense of failure. But when a coach understands the game environment and prepares them for situations, and hopefully it's not something that happens often, but a good practice for coaches at any level is you go into a game with certain goals. With the players, it's agreed upon that, hey, what can we do better today? So let's try to do this better today. You can't always control scoring goals. You can't always control the opponent scoring goals. For example, if you're at a younger age group and you have a, a, a goalkeeper who's less than five feet tall, and that's his turn to play in goal, anybody shooting high has a good chance of scoring. And if that happens a few times early in the game, the game could get away from you. But it's one of those things that you might look at the goalkeeper in that case and said, okay, so let's look at these and what ones could you have saved? What were the realistic ones? Because I can't make you taller in the course of this game. But maybe one was he could have gotten his foot to it, or maybe one was savable, but he dropped it. So then you focus on those things that are actually in the player's control and the players can then visualize these are the steps we could have taken. And if you if you go deeper with it as a coach, as you start processing that, you're also teaching the players in a sense of life lessons is there are certain things that are in your control. There are certain things that are not. <clears throat> as far as field players are concerned, maybe your goal game for the day is we want to see how often we can connect five players to move the ball from our half to the opponent's half. How many times did we do that? So it kind of takes the focus away from the score. And it doesn't mean that scoring is not important. And it doesn't mean that you're not trying to win the game. I mean, ultimately, you're out there playing the game. Yes, you are trying to win. But you're also trying to protect the integrity of the players and the integrity of the game. Players play to win. Coaches coach to develop. And if you're doing your job right as the coach, then chances are you have more successes than failures. But helping the players realize that in order for us to be successful and score goals, these are some things that we need to do.